6G is no longer science fiction. It is being tested right now. And if someone is still afraid of 5G towers, the news is this, 6G will be a hundred times smarter. Their AI itself controls the waves, bypasses obstacles, changes signal routes like a navigator. This is the perfect greeting ground for conspiracy theorists. But for us, it's the beginning of a new era of network that think for themselves. Samsung and SK Telecom have signed an agreement to test 6G together in real world conditions. Not on a test bench, not in a lab, but directly on SAKT's live national network. And the point here is that they are not just adding speed, they are embedding AI into very core of the network, where the radio signal itself is being formed. Essentially, the antenna starts working not according to rules but according to the logic of AI. It sees that a bus is coming and the signal may be reflected that there is a concrete wall nearby. The channels are overloaded and it chooses the best path for the wave itself. Instead of a dumb data transfer, we get a network that truly analyzes the environment. And here it's important to be realistic because it's not going to make an internet magically faster as the bandwidth problem is still not disappearing. There is a base station and there is a certain maximum of devices that it can handle normally. If too many people connect, the internet crashes, whether it's AI or whether it's increased frequencies. This is very similar to the story in Great Britain when they fought the traffic jams. They thought that they needed to make small three-wheeled cars because they take up less space and the traffic jams would disappear. But in reality, nothing changed because the problem was not the size of the cars, but the bandwidth of the road itself. And same goes for the mobile internet. The way will become smarter, but the bandwidth of the tower stays the same.